Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Persona 5. In the previous video, we kept helping Futaba open up, and she's slowly opening up, and it's really good. I'm um, looking at all the things that people have done. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, what we gotta do, guys, put some nutrients into this big boy. Hopefully, this raises my kindness. Nope. I mean, it does give points in the kindness, but I wish it was more. Alright. Also, I also wanted to get the drinks off screen, too, so. But yeah. Anyway, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hang out with Miss Oya. I'm like going down out there. Did you get wet? Why don't you sit down and wait out, it out? I'm sure you brought me some good info too. Right? Can I talk to you about Kyle for a bit? Yeah, I'm staying with her. Okay. Okay, sit down. Damn it. It's no use. All my connections who knew where Kyle was are gone, thanks to that chief and my publisher. Well, say something. You seem tired. You can tell. Well, I guess it is pretty obvious. <sighs> Pulling these consecutive all deniers is really wearing me down. At this rate, you're going to work yourself to death. You've been meeting your quota, right? Of course, they'll fire me if I show any signs of weakness. He really wants me to mess up, but I'm not going to give him that satisfaction. Satisfaction? <laughs> oh, fuck me. He's like some kind of tyrant. Tell me about it. It's a race to see whether I can find Kiao before he crushes me. That's not good. Shouldn't you do something about the chief before you keep chasing Kyo-chan's case? There's nothing I can do about a guy like that. He's rotten to the core. He's like a shitty adult. You know, the kind of people that the fan thieves take care of? And despite how he acts, the higher-ups like him. I have no one to go to. It's over. Well... Yeah, he didn't seem like the kind of guy to change his mind. But at this rate, you won't be able to continue your investigation. What do you think, kid? Hmm. Oya's going to get crushed under the weight of her quota if the situation doesn't change. I need to do something about the chief and help her. Uh, I'm gonna die. What's the chief's name? Why? Gonna try to find his weakness? His name is Senpai Honjo. I heard that he's a good husband and he used to cover economic foreign policy. Ugh. It was just me overthinking things, but he seems your he's seen your face, you know. Don't go try anything heroic. Heroic. Oh my god. Heroic. She's saying this for your own good, kid. Got it, kid. I wonder where Kayo is. Sorry, but I don't feel like getting any info from you today. That's okay. I was the one that was looking for info Sorry. today. Thanks for coming all the way out here, though. I'll see you around. That's okay. Like I said, I was the one that was looking for info. I need to free Oya from her chief's op oppressive demands. Fighting the for truth in journalism. Row, row, fight the power. Row, row, fight the power. Row, row, fight the power.
Now then. So, what should we do today? Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had a hot pot that one time? That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our in inquisitive friendship. I love how Futaba sits. I can do that. <laughs> okay, I'll take a cola and an oatmeal with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. I'd like the same. Can you eat all that? Of course I can. There's no doubt in my mind. Dude, you're missing the point here. We're supposed to be helping Futaba, not stuffing our faces. I want the same. Extra large. <laughs> I ate loads. Damn, Futaba. I'm impressed. Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I must prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. Back off, Yusuke. Hmm? Better not be hitting on me. How what? rude. Sajiro, help me! Will you stop that? Hmm. So does this mean her train's going good? Well, it's not a failure! But I think so. Let's go with that then. I feel like he'd say that in no crowd. Hey, let me make you guys some after meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want ice cola. Coco. Can't handle both stuff either, right? Ice coco sound sound good? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. <laughs> Don't think we've ever had a lunch this exciting. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's lots of fun. Maybe I should give her like the reset. No, that's kind of what I've been giving on was the reset voice. I think. Hey, what do you think we should do about the beach trip? Does it look like she could go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made great progress compared to how she was at the beginning. That's Futaba. You'll be able to do this tomorrow, perhaps. Tomorrow? That's too soon. I want to prepare myself. Don't force it. I think I could do it if I get a little more time. Should be good if it's the day after tomorrow. I think. We'll go the day after tomorrow, then. Just let us know if you aren't up for it, Futaba, okay? That's right, I can do this. Looks like we know when we'll actually finish up. Now, the beach is finally within reach. Yay! The, the mandatory anime beach episode! Okay. Well, we made it this far. Let's see how tomorrow goes. Uh, no one gained the level since we were last gone, so. Alright. Let's go, Hifumi. And please come to the church. Thank you for shaking my head. I'm never gonna wash it, man. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Huh? Uh, um, please wash it. I can't believe you're really here in a church! I don't know on the internet that you pray to God for victory. Is that true? No. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? It's not a fucking selfie if there's more than one person. Sorry, I've been turning down all such requests. But well, either way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been. 
I'm gonna change it for you to qualify. You'd be the first one to pass the third down lolly league. I really believe in you, man. Thank you very much. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Man, men like that approach me all the time. First, I thought you were one of them. Nope. I really must apologize for being rude to you. You're rude to me? Um. It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me. It's like I'm writing poetry or something. No, wait, that was my other worthless character. But I mean, I'm not worthless. Considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend. He's very kind. He once told me that he wanted to become a professional player. Oh, that's interesting. And he didn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we played together. And he doesn't laugh. Oh. So, I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called the Venus of Shogi. Describes you perfectly. Nonsense. Please stop. Why am I flirting with her right away? Since I won the female Shogi League, I've been getting a lot of attention. There's a female Shogi League? Just figured I could contribute to the Shogi, shogi world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. Oh, she's that kind of mother, huh? <sighs> so I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. She set up the interview and photo shoot. As if she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. Having a difficult time? A bit. But it's fine because it's for my mother. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I should be teaching you how to play rather than be talking about my mother. Today I'll be showing you something very practical. Technique for using the reserve pawns you've taken from your opponent in a much more, more efficient way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel at ease speaking with you. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Actually, aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Do 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 do. I feel the Fumi's growing, trust in me growing. All right, we learned Uchi Komi. Chance for a follow up by a backup enemy if Joker downs an enemy. All right. So that should be useful too. Now then, I will instruct you while you play, while we play. I look forward to it. Are you ready? Bow. I feel like playing Shogi with Kifumi has helped sharpen my knowledge. All right. Until next time. Well, I look forward to our next match. Alrighty. Preparing for a beach trip. Preparing for a beach trip. Preparing for a beach trip. Preparing for a beach trip, beach trip, beach trip, beach trip. Okay. Just one more day to go. Tomorrow we hit the beach. Hey, are you there? Sorry, but I need your help with the dishes. Help with the dishes! Is Utaba here too? That means we're not only helping out in the cafe, but we're also babysitting Futaba today too.
Well, the faster we get started, the finish, the faster we'll finish. Hey, I don't count as babysitting Morgana. I enjoy my time with Futaba. Want anything, Futaba? Ah, oh, voices. Orange juice, 100% natural. That reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, they came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Some kind of drowned rat. It's because of my Fireworks, hair. Fireworks, huh? Huh? Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Hello, Akechi. Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh, yeah. The one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh, no. That's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh. You must be Wakaba Ishiki's... What'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. It's not just here. That's surprising. What's up? Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Oh. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Damn, dude. Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although, I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. I have no words for you. Nah, I'm not going to be mean to him. Sure, I agree. I mean, we do have a bond. <laughs> Thank you. It's probably going to go up now. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. I feel like my bond with the catch is growing deeper. Third rank already with him, huh? Interesting. All right. You know what, catchy? That annoying. You know what, catchy? That annoying dude. I always change the channel when I see him. All he ever does is nitpick. There's no way the Fanthes are the bad guys. Ugh, they're the extremists in the group. He's like so desperate, it's kind of lame. Hmm? Come out right now. I'm outside of the blonde. Okay.
I want to light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. Did you go with Morgana? I went by myself. I just ran into Mona on the way back. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. <laughs> She's adorable! Oh my god! <laughs> Well, move, cat. Super double move. Whee! Oh my god, she's adorable. Hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang, I made a huge one. Dang. Oh, you know, look, look. Right, it's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now. Oh god. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just move, Morgana. Ah. Ah. Does she think I'm some kind of toy? All right, we're going to the beach tomorrow. I've been anticipating this for so long. Be interesting care of Futaba to you, Akira. Alright. I'll be getting on my own, you know. I only ask that you try not to get separated from each other in the crowd, okay? No worries. I've already made preparations for when that happens. That doesn't make me feel better. Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let's, oh, let alone watching over someone else. Still, going to enjoy the beach? We can finally have a good time. I agree. Aw, Futaba's so fucking adorable with the fireworks! Uh, well, guys, it's time we wrap up a social, uh, confidant. How are you doing? The key to success is a healthy heart and body. When I think of it, I haven't told you what it is I aspire to do. Aside from that, there have been some incidents. I'm thinking of telling you everything. Would you be willing to listen? Let's do this. Let's do this. Take your time right now. A weekly magazine. Oh, yes! The tenth one always gets voiced! Yes! They took their things from Golden. Old man Kuramoto will likely be forced to retire from the political world. The police can't do anything because it was 20 years ago. But he has a moral obligation. I hear his grandson, Benzo, resigned from the party as well. It could be due to Matsushita's influence, or... Perhaps it's just the party's way of atoning. Now it's all up to me and my abilities. When's your speech gonna start, Taranasuke? We can't wait! To think that people would be excited to hear me speak. The article mentioned I didn't want the real culprit to be named, even though I knew who it was. Apparently, people admire me for having quietly accepted a false charge for 20 years. I didn't intend for any of this to happen, though. Your true self was re revealed. Don't want your guard down. Well, your true self was revealed, dude. I appreciate that someone like you, who's been watching me so closely, would say such a thing. I've struggled for the past 20 years, but I can put that all behind me after the election. Oh, <laughs> look at the time. I should get started. <laughs> yes, you should, dude. Today will be the last day I'll request help from you. A member of the Phantom Thieves. Huh? I don't intend to meddle. Everything I've told you has been based on assumptions. But if you're still willing to listen, then I think you should focus on your work. Because the time is now. I can't think of anything else to teach you. You are now an expert on giving speeches. Aww. I taught you all I know about the art of public speaking in return for you supporting a guy like me. And over time, you became someone who shared my beliefs. Thanks to you, I was able to overcome my crisis these last few months. I will strive for the royal road of politics, thinking of you as you walk down your own path. But if you ever find yourself in harm's way on your journey, 
I will be there to help you. We'll be comrades who reform the world together. Yeah. Feel strong bond with Yoshida. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the sun, granting thee infinite power. Is it Asura? Asura again, I wonder? Charismatic speech allows you to form contracts with higher level shadows. Alright. Max Reiko! Alright. Yep, it is Asura. Asura. I think it's always been Asura. As Asura has always been the sun. I'm sure you will accomplish Ultimate everything sun. you set out to do. Thank you for everything. All right, it's time to begin. All right. Yoshida's speech is about to start. I cut my date short so I could watch this, you know. Does anyone out there have something they aspire to do? I met a certain young man through a method that differs from mine. He was trying to reform the world. As you know, that is a very large mountain to cross. Unfortunately, I am unable to travel the same path as him. However, I will not say goodbye. Because we will surely meet at the peak. He is desperately doing what he aspires to do. So I encourage you all, please, find what it is that you aspire to do. As long as it's something ethical. And I will support you, because that is what I aspire to do. Way to go, Tyrannosuke! I believe in you! Hey, my charm, something that I don't need to... Well, I mean, I need it improved, you know? Until I get the fifth rank, but god damn it, give me my fucking kindness, will ya? Oh well. Alright, alright. And head. Ah, uh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I really like that speech. Ugh. Thursday, huh? The 1st of September is when you have to go back to school, huh? Utaba will be in your care today. What is she Make doing? Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. I'll fight them off. Don't do anything that'll make you stand out, moron. Just act with your brains, <laughs> okay? Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be all right? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. <laughs> have fun, but be careful, you two. Will do. Ooh, animu. Yuji! <laughs> got a better opinion of me now? Huh? Uh. What? Cat got your tongue? Come on. Are we missing mm -hmm. one? Oh, I talked! Uh, there's nothing. 
nothing perfect about that. <sighs> Stay still for a second. You'll be just fine. <laughs> <sighs> She's adorable. Oh! Oh, my heart! My heart! Oh, I can't take the cuteness! I'm dying. Oh, it's so hot. There's a lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? She seems okay. I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? <laughs> My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor, yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. Yes, he does. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. Right. Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? Yep. Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. Well, Ryuji hey, can't. Lady On. Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Banana! Banana! <laughs> the sand's wet! Banana! Banana! I don't get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's Shut no the fuck up, Ryuji. We're Soon in we'll fucking public. Good times in reality too. Oh, you have a point. Right? Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey. How do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, I gotta steal... you know what? Hearts. On made fun of us and all? Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right. Let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! Sorry, Mona. Shut down. Yuji. Okay, well, at least we're having a conversation. Oh, never mind. I swear to God, if we see Kashiwagi, I'm going to be pissed. Actually, I won't be pissed. I'd laugh my ass off. We suck at this. Uh, 
Oh no. He also just kind of looks bland to me. Feel better. Come on, man. Don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at it as a team, right? I sense a presence staring at us from some time now. Are we being followed? W wait, does that mean girls are gonna hit on us? I wouldn't. <laughs> See, I told you they'd be here. I can sense it deep within my loins. <laughs> these lovely boys look like they're just begging to be hit on. Okay, I think we've met these guys before. I'm out of here. Ah! Y you're those guys from Shinjuku! What are you doing here? Oh my, I can't believe we've been reunited in such a stunning place. Smells like destiny to me. No. We're the fashion police. If you don't answer our questions, we'll take you away. Hey. So, which one of us do you think is more manly? What are you talking about? Oh dear, your time is up. Sorry, but it was a trick question. The correct answer is... We're out of here. We're 16. We're minors. We're both lovely. You interfered with our debt duties by not answering the questions. I sentenced you to stripping. This is, looks like a tough fight. Mm. Ooh, my, my fashionita skills would be perfect for this. Hands behind your head. Dude, we're teenagers. How old the fuck old are you? Get em. Suspects are escaping. Catch them. <sighs> I think we lost them. Wait. By the way, where's Yusuke? This is where, where you two were. I've been searching for you. What the hell? Um, what are you doing with those lobsters? Yes, when you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Y Yusuke, why'd you do that? Man, you're really hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was intense the moment I set eyes on this distinct this shape I was in love. He also knew what was up. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time on entered my gaze. <laughs> Good for you. I'm very sorry. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? This is going to be a party too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Uh, so you were serious about being here with friends? That's what we've been saying from the start. Did you find it bothering spending your time with kids like them? <sighs> it's far more interesting than anything involving you two. Was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fell children. We'll be going now. What creeps? Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming in like that. These guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. Got lucky. You did well holding them off. Yes, I was nearly at my wit's end. Oh, believe me, I could tell. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Huh? 
Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand? I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? What? Enough of your vile p prostitutions that are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. Oh my god, this is so cute! <laughs> we did tons of stuff today, all in all. I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. Probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack. I up. don't think it's daytime anymore. Taba seemed fine in the crowd too, so it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba, we're going home. Stop standing around and help us. What's up? You know, all this time I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's no. why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. Uh. I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her Aww. best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core. And further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's mm -hmm. the metaverse. She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. <laughs> Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba... You didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Medjed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. Uh -huh. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You are our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad. And it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. Right. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves. I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. That's okay. Do you believe in us now? I mean, yeah, you are one of I us. Can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. 
killed. It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. Mm-hmm. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the theses. networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? An impressive one. But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. Don't worry, I'm with you. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super we personal are reason the why men I in black. You. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? No, you're perfect. If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our phantom thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Mm-hmm. Me Thanks. too. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's code name? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. you got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's code name? Um, how about Pharaoh? I'll curse you. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to mm, Oracle's perfect. Sounds great. And Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored phantom thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. It's almost like Should it's a coincidence. It's almost like it's supposed to be fate. Yep, let's go home. Ah, you. Yes. The incident with Medjad seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. Oh boy. I don't like the sound of that. Hey. Back. How's it go with Futaba? You've been keeping her company for the past few days. I appreciate it. Criminal uses the metaverse to carry out their crimes. This is no longer a matter we can ignore. Especially because they might be the ones who killed Futaba's mom. To be honest, I had considered the idea that they might be behind only the rumor of psychotic breakdowns. But now it appears as though this person is killing people as well. Technically, they're making people have mental shutdowns, which then causes them to die. That's what happens when you kill someone's shadow, yeah? Mm-hmm. We were worried about it back when Kamashita and Madarame, remember? Cock breakdowns and mental shutdowns. It would make sense if the same person was behind them. News never talks about the victims dying, so people only know about the breakdowns. So this shit's seriously a case? 
That's for real. Who's ever doing some kind of assassin? I'm gonna beat the crap out of them. I would suggest we be more cautious going forward as well. We still don't know much even about the metaverse now. That's true. I wonder that thing exists. There's a man in my dream. A dream? You still have a sleep, dude? I wonder that criminal is using the app too. Top, but this seems like your area of expertise. Do you know anything about it? No, I never even heard of it before. I mean, it's not really even an app. It's more like a mysterious app-like thing. I see. It's okay though. I might not. I might not ha know much about the nav, but I can still navigate you guys on the path to victory. I'll guide you to whatever criminal you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, you can rely on me. Awesome, dude. You're way more reliable than Mona. What? Damn it, Ryuji! You must find the worst possible things to say. I'm actually quite curious. Can we see your stats now? Oh yeah, we can. Necronomicon. Confirm affinities you have previously attacked. After battle, ten percent HP. Oh my God! A recovery for backup allies. Ah, oh, that's not bad. But yep, she's hermit. I thought so. Ah. Uh, Oracle. So cool. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Persona 5. In the next part, I guess we just continue living our lives or looking to the to shut down and prove our justice to society. You know, the normal things that teenagers do in high school in Japan. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you like about the video, what you didn't like about the video, and let me know. How do you like Futaba's nickname? I actually really like it. It's quite fitting. She actually does kind of remind me of Barbara Gordman, a.k.a. Oracle from Batman. So, <laughs> it's really cool. As always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.